In this Multiverses Velma video, we're going to go over the best perks used with Velma in Multiverses. You can see that we're in the main menu here, I'm going to move over to the side menu and select Collection. From here, from the Fighters, I'm going to select Velma. You can see I've been using Velma quite a bit and I'm working towards Tier 11. Let's quickly go into the moveset here before we go into the perks. You can see that Velma uses projectiles in her special moves and her basic supportive words can also give your ally a buff. So if you're playing a two on two match and you're using the supporting words, this projectile, if it hits your ally, can apply hastened and they also have healing properties. So keep that in mind when you're using that projectile there. This projectile here also applies weakened and there is another opportunity to weaken the enemy as well as apply freezing and these are a lot of debuffs that Velma has. There is also an opportunity to have grey health. Keep this in mind when we're going through the perks that we're selecting as well as more projectiles and educated which is another buff. As well as this you also have passive abilities. During the match there are selected moves that Velma uses which will drop evidence. Collecting this evidence will give you a meter above your head that fills up. Once it's filled up you can summon a, cop car, a police car which will drive and collect the nearest enemy, disabling them and try to drive them off the map. Keep that in mind when we're going through this here as we are going to go for the best perks based on Velma's moveset so you can create combos and a lot more. Now let's go back into the train perks menu and let's select the best perks for Velma. You can see that we have hit them while they're down. Hit them while they're down, your team deals 5% increased damage when hitting debuffed enemies. Now like we've just mentioned, even our projectiles can apply debuffed and buff properties. Keep this in mind when you're using hit and while they're downed. This is the reason why this is one of the best perks to use with Velma as you have a lot of opportunities to debuff your enemies. As we've just mentioned, we are also using a lot of projectiles. So having a projectile buff could also come to your advantage. Deadshot is one that you could select. Your team deals 5% increased damage with projectiles, 10% increased damage if your ally also selects his perk. Now the shirt cannon sniper, if you're confident with your projectiles and you're sending your projectiles a long way and you're able to hit enemies from far away, then Shirt Cannon Sniper could be one that you select as you will have 7% increased damage to your enemies when you're hitting them from far away. This is not a common thing for allies to select in multiverses though. So if you want that 15%, you will have to really think about who's on your team at that time. Now if you've got a Batman on your team and you're, if you're playing 2 on 2, hitting while they're down is going to be a likely perk that that Batman will select as Batman has this available in his tier list. Let's get into the defense now and select the best defense perks to use with Velma. Now in the defense section I want you to keep in mind that Velma has to be static to use her basic and special projectiles, her main projectiles. Now when you're using this projectile and you're standing still you're open to be attacked because you're standing still on a platform. Now if you're open to be attacked you want to make sure that you can dodge quickly if an enemy gets close to you. Now I've expressed how I feel about the defense perks in multiverses. I feel like there could be more and there may be more on the way when you're adding new characters. But at the moment with these perks, I would select Slippery Customer. Your team receives 10% longer dodge in vulnerability window. What this does is when you've pressed dodge, the invulnerability window is the window that you're still dodging, even when you're static. This is how long you are dodging for. So that window is slightly longer by 10% or 15% if your ally also selects this perk. Now in this section, that's going to be the perk to select with your defense, but I wouldn't really focus too hard on defense with your Velma build. And here's why, I'll show you when we get into the utility. Don't forget to stay till the end of the video to see how we're stacking these perks together for the best build of your Velma. Let's get into the utility section now because this is going to be solely important. Now as I've mentioned, I've already trained these perks, I've already trained selected perks, so keep that in mind when you're following along. Retaliation Ready is going to be one of the best perks to use with Velma. Your team grants allies one grey health for three seconds after knocking back enemies with projectiles. Now as I've just mentioned, Velma has a lot of projectiles and they're very powerful and also apply debuffs in some cases. Retaliation Ready is going to be absolutely great as you're getting that, that grey health. What grey health does is it replaces your usual damage numbers and it replaces it with a grey health which takes slightly longer to deplete. So you can, you can be attacked and your regular damage numbers won't go up. When your damage numbers are high, you have a harder knockback and you're being sent back flying with your damage numbers being high. So of course, 
course, great health is giving you extra defense. This is why I said maybe don't focus too hard on your defense in terms of your lower level perks with your Velma, because Retaliation Ready is definitely a great one to use. Another one that you could select is Coffeezilla. This is because Velma's special moves can be absolutely brilliant when you have the opportunity to use them. Coffeezilla is going to give you 10% reduced ability cooldown and 15% redu reduction if your ally also selects his perk. This is also a very common perk to be selected in a two on two public match. So keep that in mind when you're selecting your perks in the utility section. Don't forget to let me know what you're using in multiverses for your perks. Another great perk to use in this section here is going to be the hit me if you're able. Your team receives 5% increased dodge speed, 10% increased dodge speed if your ally also selects this perk. This is going to be great because when you're using your projectiles if you're standing still, this would be the sort of defense that you would select if you want to focus on your defense. So I'm going to train this perk now so it's available for Velma. Now that we've gone through those lower level perks, let's get into that signature perk as to what's the best perk to select with Velma in your perks. You have two perks available, you have Studied, Velma spawns with one piece of evidence already collected. Now as we've just mentioned, in Velma's passive abilities, there are selected moves that if you use them and hit the enemy with them, it will drop evidence. When you collect that evidence, you'll be able to summon a cop car once you've, a police car once you've select, uh, collected enough evidence. Now in my opinion, the best signature perk to use with Velma is Knowledge is Power. Velma's ally receives 3 grey health for a few seconds after picking up evidence. Your allies can also pick up the evidence that you've dropped in the arena, and this will give your ally 3 grey health for a few seconds, which is absolutely brilliant because not only are we already using retaliation ready for ourselves, but you also have the opportunity for more grey health on your team, and this is going to give you less high damage numbers, and it's going to keep you on the arena for longer. So knowledge is power is definitely one of the best perks to use with Velma, I'm now going to get into a match to show you how this is done as we're going to select the correct perks to use in the situation for a win. Let's get it. Let's show you how this is done in a match. Let's go. Ooh, pick your team. You can see I'm using the Velma announcer pack. Yes, that solves the mystery of what teammate will you choose? We have a Shaggy on the team. Shaggy's not really going to focus on debuffs. Oh, looks like he's ready to stack. He's absolutely stacked those perks now. Smart player. Shaggy will also throw his sandwich. We should also go with retaliation ready. You okay, Shaggy? You seem different. Let's get him. Let's get that evidence. Hold on a second. Let's get some debuffs on the go. Got some weakened on uh, Harley there. <laughs> no. More oh, weakened. So many debuffs. Bye bye. Ready? Collecting evidence along the way. Any more evidence or not? There we go. Cup car. Now. I don't know what's going on there. You broke it. <laughs> Ooh. No. Shaggy, you need to. Thank you. Ooh, 
Oof. I'm here. So you need to. I won't let you down. Oh my days. Take this. Beautiful. Beauty. If only the rest of the gang were here to see this. Three KOs, let's see if they rematch. rematch. Doesn't look like they want to rematch. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the best perks to use with Velma in multiverses. Retaliation ready is one that I would sort of be like um and R in with. Depends who you've got on your team and what you're doing on your team. But there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the best perk to use with Velma in multiverses. Remember that it needs to knock back the enemy when you're using retaliation ready. With that said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out more multiverses. You can see it on screen right now. Click on one of those and I'll see you in the next one. And remember, you are awesome.